Hello and welcome to Don't Fence Me In, a roundtable session about 4-H horse programs. We'll start with a video overview, then switch to discussion using the chat feature. During discussion, we'll ask about your needs as 4-H professionals and talk about the future of 4-H horse programs. Today, we have four Extension Horse Team members presenting. Wendy Hine is a County 4-H educator in Oregon. She oversees her county's horse program of more than 300 youth, among other tasks. She has been with Extension for 20 years and in the Extension Horses team for three years. She often feels like a trail boss, keeping all of her volunteers in line. Rebecca Gunderson is an equine and environmental science coordinator for the University of Maryland. She oversees the State 4-H equine program and assists with the State 4-H shooting sports program. She has been with Extension for over 10 years and with the Extension horses team for one year. She considers herself a head wrangler while coordinating state equine events, wrangling volunteers, and jumping in wherever needed. Rebecca Wilkins is a County 4-H educator at Purdue University. She has been with Extension for seven years and a part of the Extension Horses team for two years. She identifies as a brand inspector because she makes sure that her volunteers keep 4-H principles first when planning horse programs. Betsy Green is an equine extension specialist at the University of Arizona. She has been with Extension for 27 years. She is a trailblazer for the equine extension horses team and has been with the group since the very beginning in 2004. Elaine Bailey has been an important part of the extension horses team for many years. She made valuable contributions to the proposal and discussion questions. Elaine has recently retired from her county position in Maryland after 36 years, and she decided that she would rather spend her day relaxing in the pasture than at a virtual conference. And now it's your turn. Using the chat feature, tell us your name, university affiliation, state or county position, and how you would describe your relationship with your 4-H program. Do you consider yourself the trail boss, head wrangler, trailblazer, or are you a city slicker looking to get out of the concrete jungle and ready to join us on a trail ride through Extension Horses, Inc.? The 4-H 2025 vision document calls for staff who are trained in youth development, not specialists in animal science. But 4-H professionals may find horse programs particularly challenging if they do not have personal experience with horses. The Extension Horses Group is a resource for safe and ethical horsemanship information for professionals, volunteers, and youth. Extension Horses, Inc. connects people from around the country who have expertise in equine education. Such a relationship enables Extension professionals to learn from each other and to share resources. By working together, we can create educational materials that address a wide variety of equine topics that are ready to share when there is local, regional, or national need. Our members are all Extension and University employees. Many have a 4-H component to their assignment. Think of us as your new horse-savvy work friend. We have lots of help and advice to share and are interested in helping you solve your horse program problems. Long, long ago, in a faraway place, Extension Horses was born. Okay, I'm old, but not that old. As a trailblazer, I was a part of Horse Quest Community of Practice when E-Extension began. As an original member of Horse Quest, which began in 2004, I was one of many horse extension professionals who began the E-Extension Community of Practice. We created and put out articles, videos, and images which were widely shared on E-Extension. As things developed and as we became more skilled, we offered webinars, we created a YouTube channel. We now have social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. When E-Extension was changing the structure and they were just refocusing on 
other methods of incorporating information for the public, moving away from the communities of practice, our group of horse extension people created its own entity, Extension Horses Inc. We are still a part of eExtension, but we offer consistently branded content against many platforms and websites. And recently when COVID changed the way that we work for now, we actually put together podcasts and infographics and webinars that you'll hear about as we continue on with our presentation. Here we show you some of the pieces of the work that this team has done. The website has loads of educational material. You can find timely infographics to be used for your websites and social media. You'll find articles that you can share with horse families, and you'll find links to trainings for both youth and adult leaders. Currently, we have two popular formats we use for educational purposes, podcasts and YouTube videos. The Taxbox Talks podcast started just over a year ago. These are conversational podcasts where our expert academic professionals from across the country share their personal knowledge of all things horse related to help you become a better horse owner. Taxbox Talks podcasts are available through our website and Buzzsprout, or you can su subscribe on Spotify and iTunes. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Extension Horses. Here you can find answers to horse questions, watch educational videos of past webinar series and programs that many of our Extension colleagues have produced, browse articles, and take online learning lessons and certificate courses. Most recently, we have many different programs that have been delivered virtually to 4-Hers within the last few months. Extension Horses, Inc. has found that the best way to reach a wide variety audience is through different social media platforms. Through Facebook and Instagram, we share a combination of our original content and information from reliable sources. We also share plenty of fun horse memes and stories that build a loyal following. Currently, we spend the most time on Facebook and have almost 13,000 likes. However, we are in the process of rebuilding our Instagram presence with 137 followers. We invite all of you to follow, like, and share all of our social media accounts. Just search for Extension Horses on your favorite social media platform. Our goal is to produce information that is helpful to 4-H and other Extension professionals. We are a resource for you to learn about what's new in the horse industry. If you aren't a horse person, let us help. Much of our content is free to use. The main way we get new information out is by putting it on our website and Facebook page. If you follow our social media, you will have lots of resources to share with your state or county. Watch for upcoming trainings that are specifically designed for youth and youth leaders. Hippology Academy will be offered again in 2021. It's an in-depth class for competitive teams and coaches. Halter 2 is a final review. This is an asynchronous online course for youth horse leaders. Through a partnership with the American Quarter Horse Association, we are producing multiple youth modules to teach horse care and management. We expect to start sharing resources in late 2021. Finally, we are always looking for new ideas in members. Extension Horses meets monthly on Zoom and annually in person in Kentucky. That completes our introduction to the Extension Horses Group and its resources. Now we'd like to have some discussion and idea sharing. We're going to end the video and use the chat interface for our discussion. You'll be able to hear us as moderators, but unfortunately you won't be able to hear each other, so type comments. We'll ask questions one at a time with time to respond. If you'd like to see the full list of questions, we are putting that link in the chat. You can also send comments to us at my email address, wendy.hine at oregonstate.edu. So if you have a great idea in the middle of the night, pass it on. Now for the fun part. We'll start with questions to learn more about your needs 
as 4-H professionals and the needs of your horse community. Then we want to move into questions about the future of the 4-H horse program. Are you ready to get creative? Let's wrangle some ideas into the corral.